Hi everyone, welcome back to Hi Mama's Activity Hub. My name is Kaya, I'm an early childhood educator here at Hi Mama. So for today's activity, we are going to be making some rock ladybugs. If you're lucky enough to have a backyard or some an area that you can actually get some rocks from, this is a really great activity. Um, I did this in one in the classroom and I can guarantee your children will be hunting for different shaped rocks for hours. So I'm gonna show you exactly how we're gonna be making a uh, rock ladybug today. For this activity, you'll need some rocks. Um, you can get them at the dollar store if your dollar store is open, um, but let's try and use some resources in and around our house. So um, maybe you can grab them from some of your plants that are lying around, or maybe your kid has a secret rock collection, um, even in the backyard or the garden. It's really good to get different shapes and different sizes of rocks as well with different textures. Um, the kiddos can explore the different textures and, and sizes of the rocks there for their ladybugs. Um, you also need some paint. So I have red, black, and white paint, and I've put it in a tray here. Some paint brushes, um, or you can use Q-tips. If you wanna get really messy, your kids can even use their fingers. And I actually added some googly eyes to this. So you can use the paint to paint on the eyeballs, uh, but today I'm gonna use some googly eyes and we'll see how that goes. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to paint one of our rocks red. So um, using a paintbrush and our rock, we're gonna paint the whole body of this rock red. Definitely have your kids explore different colors, different textures with the ladybugs. No two ladybugs are the same, just like butterflies and snowflakes. So you can really extend this activity by discussing um, how ladybugs help our, our environment, where you can find them, what they do, um, and even expand that into like different insects and everything too. So once the uh, body of the ladybug is painted and dried, the next thing we're going to do is paint the black lines on it. So. With the magic of television, I have my already dry red rock here. And I'm gonna take one of my paintbrushes or Q-tips, or if you wanna get really messy, you can use your fingers. And we're gonna to paint towards the top. We're gonna to paint a half a semicircle at the top here for the face part of the ladybug. And then we're also gonna paint one black stripe down the middle to separate the two wings that the ladybugs have. And for this next part, you can use a Q-tip if you'd like. I still have a, a fine tooth paintbrush here. We're gonna paint little dots all over the ladybug. This is always the fun part for the kiddos deciding where the dots get to go and how many dots they wanna do. That looks good, I've got about six or seven there. For the next step, you can either take a paintbrush and paint the um, the middle part uh, in here white for the eyes, or you can use glue and actually stick some googly eyes to the middle. I think this one will be really fun because then the eyeballs will actually move with the ladybug. So just stick these on. Ta-da! So that's my ladybug there. We're gonna let it dry overnight just so it's completely dry. And then you can even pop these in a sensory bin if you're gonna do lots of them um, with some soil and grass or anything that you find around the house into a nice sensory bin. These can go into like an actual play structure like with a house or something like that. And you can really extend the play on this one by reading different books all about bugs and ladybugs. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see any content, let us know and we will see you soon. Bye.